This steel beam calculator helps you design a steel beam. Once you have entered your requirements, it generates a report that checks if the beam is safe. Unlike other tools, our calculator lets you add any combination of point loads and uniformly distributed loads to your steel beam. It's designed to be easy to use, but it does require some understanding of steel beams and structures. So in this video, we'll explain the information that's required for each section of the calculator. We suggest using Firefox or Safari when you fill in the calculator, because these browsers automatically save the details you've entered. So if you press the back button, you won't lose anything. However, the calculator does work well in other browsers too. So let's get started. Section 1 of the calculator asks for your basic beam details. You first need to enter the span length of your beam. Secondly, you need to choose the shape and size of your steel beam from the drop-down menu. The calculator defaults to wide flange beams, W beams, but you can choose either American Standard I beams, S beams, or American Standard channels instead. Both W beams and S beams form a distinctive I shape. However, the flanges on the W beam are wider and their sides are parallel, whereas on an S beam, the flanges are tapered. In contrast, American standard channels form a C-shape. Once you have chosen the right shape of beam, select its depth and weight from the drop-down menu. For example, a beam with a depth of 10 inches that weighs 33 pounds per foot is referred to as W10 by 33. Next, you need to choose the minimum yield stress for your beam. This is an indicator of the strength of the beam. If it's an old beam, choose 36,000 PSI from the drop-down, or if you are buying a new beam, choose 50,000 PSI. And finally, for section one, you need to confirm that the top flange of your beam will be laterally braced along its full length. If it isn't going to be, please don't use this steel beam calculator and instead get the advice of an experienced structural engineer. A beam that is laterally braced along its full length will have regularly spaced fastenings, such as bolts, usually at least every five feet. For the next section, you need to know what type of load your beam will be supporting. A uniformly distributed load is where the load is evenly distributed across the full length of the beam. An attic or floor would fall into this category. A partial uniformly distributed load is where the load is evenly distributed across part of the beam and a point load is where there are localized loads at certain points along the beam, such as when a steel beam is required to support another steel beam. If you choose either uniformly distributed load or partial uniformly distributed load, you can select the loading details from the drop-down menu and then enter the tributary width of the load in feet. To see how to calculate the tributary width of the load, see our examples page. It's always half of the distance between the beam and the next support in both directions. If you can't see an option in the drop-down menu that describes the nature of your load, use Other. You don't need to add the weight of the steel beam itself. The calculator automatically allows for this. You can add multiple loading details to each type of load. For example, more floors. Or you can add another load type. For point loads, you will need to enter the distance in feet between the point load and the end of the beam, as well as its dead and live loads in pounds. Dead loads are usually things that do not change, such as the weight of a wall or the floor, whereas live loads do change, such as people or furniture. The last section of the calculator is about deflection limits. A deflection limit is the maximum amount you allow the beam to sag. You can set a limit for how much it can sag under live loads and under dead loads. Our calculator defaults to the recommended limits, but you may need to change these. For example, if you are using the beam to span above bifold doors, you may need to set a live load deflection limit that's lower than the default. We recommend that the total live and dead load deflection limit doesn't exceed the span length divided by 240. And that's all the information we need. Now you just have to press the Run Calculation button and your PDF report will appear within seconds.
Look at the results of analysis section in your report to check that the beam you've designed is strong enough to support the loads you've specified. If the beam is inadequate, click the back button, choose a bigger steel beam, and then try running the calculation again. We hope this video has given you an insight into how the steel beam calculator works and what you need to know before using it. Thanks for watching.